the purplest of all the characters. That therefore makes her the most powerful. I'm pretty sure that that's how it works. Watch her on Ascension 20 is, it's interesting. It feels sometimes easy, but then sometimes it's absolutely not easy at all and you die. And that's weird. Very much tempted by a 99 gold colorless rare card start. There's a lot of colorless rares that are very powerful for Watcher. Apotheosis and Hand of Greed. Apnea says, thoughts on defect bell swaps? I'd say that goes really well for you about 80% of the time, and then 20% of the time it's really, really bad. I like bell on defect. Defect getting more relics is, is definitely good. Usually pretty hard to do. We gotta meet, beat Myrtle Streak. That's right, we're almost halfway there. Four is a power of two, therefore there's room for magic. Interesting, Ubla. Very interesting. I'm taking the card. What do you got? Transmutation, Secret Weapon, or Mayhem. These aren't the best cards. However, I'm actually really happy with Secret Weapon for the very simple purpose of Secret Weapon can fetch Eruption. That's it. That's all it has to do. And it's good. I could almost see Transmutation actually being kind of neat. But I'm really happy with it. A Secret Weapon just get Eruption into my hand, or... Um, there's some other shenanigans that we could do with it. If we get Reach Heaven through Violence... Uh, we can use Secret Weapon to fetch the second portion of that once we put it into the draw pile. Or some other shenanigans. Fetch Weave so you can get it back. Fetch Flurry of Blows so you can get it back. Stuff like that. Alright, yeah, this is this is never happening, right? Two, two dead shops is just never a good idea. So we'll go through the middle of the act then. Looks like we get the most upgrades going... Something like this. I want to do at least four combats for that first elite, get some better cards and potions. It'd be nice to get a card removal so we can remove a defend, but we're fighting guardians, so I'm okay if that gets forestalled a bit. Might as well get the extra rest site here. That's my path. We can opt into going for the burning elite, but it's it, probably not going to happen here. It's always attacks next turn, too. Don't think I Miracle Strike. Maybe I was meant to. Nah, no, we just do it this way. Six plus nine. Not too bad. First floor battle him. That's very interesting. I like battle him, but... I don't know. It's really good against Akmon Elites. Tends to fall off a little bit later. I'm gonna grab the Sanctity instead. The block and the draw. I like that a lot more for its immediate utility. Should have played to defend last. It's fine. Yeah, because then I could draw Strike Strike. Surely done this wrong somewhere. Didn't work out too badly, though. Ooh, should have taken the battle him. Now do I have to take it just lucky? Ooh. It's the only damage card here. I like zero cost card now that I've added some draw. I like having a little bit of scry. Third eye is pretty good, too, actually. I guess I'm okay with the third eye. It's a little bit much block. Uh, let's do it. It's a little bit much in the block department, but I really like how third eye and sanctity work with each other specifically. So heck it. 
All right, we're guaranteed to get eruption next turn. That means we just do this. I don't even need eruption. I just want two strikes. Good enough. Okay, that'll help a lot. And no damage card still. I guess I'm taking a flurry. I really wish I had taken that battle him. Dang it. At least flurry's nice with uh, third eye. Flurry's nice with secret weapon. But oof, the lack of hard hitting cards here is readily apparent. Hmm. Could take money for a curse and go this way. I don't think that's a good idea on either front. Let's take one more combat, try to get something. At least it's an easy fight here. Eruption strike, strike 24 plus 9. Guess what? That's 33 damage. Good number to remember for Watcher. Seek the flurry. Hey, it helped. All right, excellent hard pool fight. We do get another potion. We do get a damage card. It's not a very good damage card, but boy, is it a damage card. I'll take it. I'll even upgrade it too. Although, what about eruption first? I have a bottled miracle. I would rather have the extra turn of vulnerable on the crush joints and then ooh, it's two fights though. Okay, I'll upgrade eruption. Greetings, Sentrymans. The eruption's on top of the deck. Well, I want that turn to count for all it can, then. I'm not going to discard eruption. That'd be sheer idiocy. So, we do this. Might have to take up to 20 damage next turn, just to the face. Could speed push and defend, potentially. What we're not going to do is opt out of eruption here. We pretty much have to do it. We're taking 20 either way, right? Either I take 10 and 10, or I kill one and take 20. Might as well get ahead in the fight by killing one and taking 20. Three strikes cleanly kills you, so let's eruption the middle one now. But I have to. I would like to play every card, so let's use the Bottled Miracle here. Doesn't do anything, sadly. Can't quite KO either, but we can go Crush Joints, Vigilance. I could, um... I could Miracle Sanctity and then use the secret weapon. Actually, that's pretty powerful. That would mean staying in Wrath, though. I don't think I want to do that. Kill it this turn and enter calm. That's curious. And I'll avoid three days by so doing. I don't know if that was right. Definitely wasn't right to draw like this, though. Bummer. At least we get a relic I might use. A study? Not taking a study going into what might be a gremlin knob. Hell no. We'll take a strawberry, because seven more max health dramatically improves my short term. Uh, and yeah, I'm still gonna go this way. Oh, or am I? Oh, oh wing boots. You'd love to see it. That might mean an extra elite here for us. Um, but let's see how the next floor goes. It is Gremlin Knob. 
Got a flamed eruption. I think I'd better keep one of these strikes. Numbers. So how much do we do with secret weapon rush joints for eight? Flurry of blows for six. It's fourteen. Um, then we play Eruption for 13, Flurry of Blows again for 12, Strike for 18. We deal 57 damage. And this is my draw next turn. We also take 22. Go down to just a sliver of health here. That's a bit spooky. There's definitely no way to kill this turn, but I can tell. Too many defends in this deck it is currently our core problem. That's not going to be a problem for Guardian, but it is a problem right now. I think we take 28. I only play one skill. Just the secret weapon. We have the miracle for next turn. So next turn we can Miracle, Sanctity, do stuff. Is there a better line than that? I think that's the most damage this turn. Better than like, Eruption, Secret Weapon for Flurry, Crush Joints, Flurry Strike. Doubling the damage of the Crush Joints isn't worth losing the first Flurry and the Vulnerable on both. All right, let's do that. There is a chance we brick here and we just die. Because there's too many there's too many skills in this deck. We didn't brick. Okay, we get to keep going. That was close. That was very close. <gasps> Finally a damage guard. Cut through fates. Excellent. Do not want Blasphemy. The deck just doesn't do enough damage to kill things, even if we are in uh, Divinity. But yeah, ultimately, all of this, because we haven't removed a defend yet. Watcher really wants to remove a defend early. Super important. And I'm offered a Windmill Strike? Come on. All because we didn't pick Battle Him. <laughs> it's funny. Might be okay in Guardian. It's also really okay in this fight, actually. If we jump into an extra elite fight right now, which I'm rather tempted to do, as it trades a charge and dramatically improves the act. hate this for our long term, but I'll take it for the short term. Nice, we even drew a turn one. I guess Secret Weapon with, with, with Windmill Strike is also kind of a cool thing. Let's leave that Secret Weapon where it is for now. Perfect. I don't even think I want to play the Cut Through Fate just in case the Eruption's on top. There's a 1 in 6 that I don't draw it, but that's true even if I pl if I play the Cut Through Fate, there's also 1 in 6. Although, I've, if I play the Cut Through Fate, then I can at least play the Eruption and go now. But with Vigilance in my discard pile, that won't even be a good thing. No, I'm just going to not play the Cut Through Fate here. Easy, we just, just draw the thing, bottom deck, Flurry of Blows, whatever.
four, uh, five energy this turn. Six if I use the Miracle. So I could play this for 45 damage, and then maybe draw it again. I think that's worth it. Bonk. All right, well, the Windmill Strike sure paid off. Glad we picked that up. Now we can pick up a Rushdown or, a, or an Inner Piece. And we have a, a decent enough Relic, as well as another Potion, which is more health. Pretty happy we did that. Inner Piece not too bad either, but we should take the Rushdown first. It's actually not even the world's worst Nirvana. Got two Scries already. But I would rarely willingly add a Nirvana to the deck. It's just never good enough. Poor Nirvana. Poor, poor Nirvana. Hmm. Thirteen, you say? Next turn looks pretty awkward. Or I can just Eruption now. This will do, like, 17 damage? That's pretty sad. So I can do Eruption, Strike, Strike, Windmill, Strike, which would be... 6 plus 9 plus 9 plus, let's assume, 16. It's only 40. Inadequate. And I would just draw another Defendant Strike. Actually, it might have been exactly enough with that top Strike card. Now that I think about it. Whatever. This is fine. Fairy in a bottle, healing us if we would drop below half. And rather than a battle him, why don't we just take a carve reality? Letting me create a smite in hand. Henry BK, thanks for 22 months of support. That poor whiskey egg. What did it ever do to anybody? Huh? What did it ever do to you? I want to smite, please. Bonk. Don't trust a distilled chaos with the Watcher very much. This one's not too bad, though. Not against Guardian, though. Okay, let's go Swift Potion. Not particularly worried about this fight, especially with an upgraded Crush Joints for an extra turn of Vulnerable. Other good upgrades include the Windmill Strike, the Rushdown, and the Third Eye. I'm going to go with the Crush Joints for now. I need to keep this miracle around. So we skip rush down? No. Don't skip rush down. Never know when you're gonna need that draw after all. Alright, feels like here's where the miracle comes in, so that I can get back into calm here. And then the next time we need real block, we have... Windmill Strike. Uh, next time we need real damage, excuse me, we have Windmill Strike, which is doing its best to be a, a relevant card. Even though it really, really isn't. All right, we're entering Wrath next turn, so I'm going to take four to play the Crush Joints now. We're going to need the extra damage on this turn, or want it more accurately. Um, not 
doesn't get though. Okay. Keep building up the retain damage. I think I might do the same trick. Yeah. Same deal. Apply vulnerable this turn at the cost of some health. Eruption and kill on this turn. You know what's really good with retaining damage? Mantra. Actually, wait, what about establishment? Interesting. Eh, it's not that good. It's only two actually retaining cards. I think I much prefer devotion. Spirit Speed Shield could be a pretty good block, too, but we've already got decent enough blocks. I really like Devotion. Uh, get rid of these strikes, uh, the defense, please. Transform two defense, one strike with Astrolabe, feeling really nice. We could go more energy with the Slaver's Collar. That would be nice, too. But I'm truly desperate to get rid of some starter cards here. So I really like the Astrolabe. Well, those are not bad. Simmering Fury is another way into Wrath, which I appreciate. Protect Plus is definitely better block than before. Now I do wish we had an establishment. And Conclude can hit pretty hard in an area. Overall, I have mixed feelings about that. Excellent path through the act, though. Let's hit a shop, get rid of another card, maybe spend some of this money. And from there, we can have a fairly conservative path that still hits a couple elites later on. Don't forget we have wing boots. Consider the wing boots. Wing Boots could let me fight both of these elites. I like that quite a bit. But first, we start with a shop. That's for sure. We have just the right threshold of money. But I think it's pretty good. Miracle or take four? A miracle here. I don't think I need to take any damage. Not when I can do 32 damage to all enemies. <laughs> Swift Potion for 5 health, I don't think. Uh, you know what, I will actually. Relatively likely to find a new potion. Yeah, exactly. This one's upgraded. And we didn't take an energy relic, so I actually really like it. We can take our battle hymn now that we've replaced it with all these other cards. That's the thing the battle hymn would have let us uh, do that we were kind of regretting not taking it. We could have taken win uh, Battle Him instead of Windmill Strike and Carve Reality. But oh well. At least our cards can do stuff immediately now. And Wallop can too. Wallop is big, blonk, and damage. One of my favorites. Actually not bad with Swivel of all things. Card removal is here as well. Do I think he needs establishment? I don't I don't think we need it. I think we'd appreciate it currently, but I don't think we need it. I think we can get our energy from Mantra. We're just missing a prostrate or a prey and an upgrade on the devotion. I could almost see taking Regal Pillow here. Regal Pillow plus Dreamcatcher is pretty good value from rest sites. I do like Mental Fortress a fair bit, but it is a little expensive at the moment, and we're not switching stances as much as you'd want us to, really. Got so much better attacks. Let's just make those our purchases. There might be another shop headed our way later, this act. Okay. Let's take one event to start. Oh, heck yes. The Enchilada gives us a random free power on turn one. Maybe we do have establishment Twitch chat. 
Maybe we do. We do! The establishment is here. Establish eyes. What's on top of the deck? Vigilance. I might actually liquid memories that. Let's do that. Plated armor there. My dang. It's free! It's a free smite, Twitch chat. Incredible. Nothing else I want to play, right? I don't think so. There's the prostrate. Excellent. Alright, uh, I'm going to upgrade... The mantra source is next. Getting into actual divinity is going to be a big game changer for us. How about apparitions? No. Not today. Hmm. Am I killing first here? Protect next turn, okay. I'll break up the damage a bit. I'm, I'm expecting Conclude to finish the fight. When we eventually get it. Want the max chance of finding conclude? Please don't kill me. Okay, secret weapon is conclude. But will it be enough damage with a weaken? That's my concern. But will it blend? 28. Okay, it kills the chosen, but not the cultist. Okay, so we always kill next turn. So we take moderate damage here. Getting weakened was a bit unfortunate. Alright, upgrade the prostrate. The windmill strikes again! Makes, oh, well, Ginger would have saved us in that uh, previous situation. Our act boss is Collector, so I will definitely take status immunity there. And yeah, we'll fight this elite. Got uh, Fairy in a bottle. It's gonna be fine. Question is, do I play fasting turn one against Book of Stabbing again? It's more energy, but uh, I don't know. with damage this turn, too. I, but I just can't afford it. I don't think I'm going to play it in this fight. So, Secret Weapon get me, could get me Eruption, but that's not going to be enough damage right now. playing Simmering Fury, but then next turn is going to be a bit of a problem. 
won't have much energy either. This deck on three energy, man. Let's see, we're going to get our Windmill Strike to get started, I guess. Wallop gets more done this turn, but then leaves us hanging even drier for next turn. Higher and drier. Killing like maybe Crush Joints turn one might have been a waste. Can't even go Wallop Vigilance next turn. Son of a gun. Triple Fritz, thanks for three months of support. If I do this fight wrong, I'm going to die. Backseat the Bastion. Van Laser, thanks for... Uh, uh, excuse me. Crispies, thank you for my for 31 months of support. Van Laser. I think the windmill strike is some sort of established technique. Is that a Shaolin monk thing, maybe? Just use Fairy for the big hit. Easy. Since we haven't seen Devotion yet, we can't count on it this fight to do anything for us in time. I guess I could just go defend Third Eye, Simmering Fury, Secret Weapon, the Windmill Strike. Start unloading next turn. Go back into Calm with Vigilance. All right, let's see what's on top of the deck at minimum. Get rid of these two. Keep Sanctity for now. All right, yeah, we'll get Windmill Strike. Or I could get just lucky and block for a little bit more this turn. Take the strike. We'll do more damage next turn. The just lucky, that is. Okay, we did find Vigilance. That's good news. Unfortunately, we also found Eruption. So how do we do this? Pretty sure we have to Vigilance this turn. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. And then we try to block next turn. This ends up being just lucky. I don't want to shuffle Wrath into the discard pile, do I? No. So let's go. Vigilance. Sanctity. Prostrate. Flurry. Okay, and if we need to, I'll ferry in a bottle here, maybe. Just like I'm going to. Alright, let's just do it. Don't even draw any cards. It's fine. Surely it's fine. I should have played the Windmill Strike and not the Smite there, too. What a foolish heuristic. Okay, at least we're alive. That's the important part. Get ourselves an ice cream, which will hopefully prevent this from happening in the future. If I want to start upgrading things, we could take a lesson learned, but quite frankly, I think it's going to be a bit unwieldy here. That elite went rather badly. Deck's already rather expensive, yeah. It might be a take it anyway situation. But it also might not. Is it Bowling Bash for the next elite? No, we're not fighting anymore. Elites this act, unfortunately. That has changed now. We have no potions, we can't fight another one. So I'm gonna go this way. Could take an event instead too. I guess we, we could go to the shop here and then try to do this, but 
Meh. That's partly a consequence of trading health for the Enchiridion earlier this act. Consider saving energy. Ugh. Defend is better than protect, yes. Could also just take three to save two energy. That's worth it. Probably wasn't actually, now that I think about it. Kinda forgot I had divinity headed my way. Upgraded Protect. Honestly? Yes. Oddly decent. Thank you for attacking me on turn one. Perfect. another 12 block. So I still, still take one, which I'm okay with. Only did one damage. Von Laser, thanks for the gifted sub. Welcome to the Cozy Sub Club, Ibex. Okay, so we're still kind of on the brink here. I'm glad that I actually kind of regret not buying the Regal Pillow earlier, but I'm glad that we have the Dreamcatcher. I think I upgrade, shop, and then rest just in case there's a waffle in the shop and I can save the rest. What would I like to upgrade? Got the Mantra stuff upgraded. I'd like to upgrade now. Rushdown because of Ice Cream is a really good upgrade. Let's upgrade Rushdown. Energy savings is a big deal. Could also consider upgrading Windmill Strike for the Collector, actually. Ah. Look at the hair. Ugh. Melange says, when you shuffle the draw pile, scry three. It is not very good, unfortunately. Battle him taunts us again. Very happy with a stance potion and a card removal here. Overall. Relatively mundane, but also simply adequate. Huh. Is Melange supposed to be here? No, it's the Dune Spice. Mysterious sands from an unknown origin that smell of cinnamon. It's a drug. In the Dune books. Which also recently became a, a big deal movie that was, eh, it was all right. How does Brilliance upgrade? Just four more damage. I don't think Brilliance is worth spending this much money on right now when we have other other ways to up our damage. <laughs> yeah, and it grants you sight by scrying. That's right. Very thematically appropriate. Collect plus is giant bait, right? I want a fear to evil or an inner peace. 
Probably a fear no evil. But ice cream collect is definitely kind of tempting. It's an energy generating card. Problem is, it's a slow energy generating card. Inner Peace and Fear No Evil are both energy generating cards in their own right, too, and they work better with uh, the other stuff in the deck. I think I want a Fear No Evil over the Inner Peace. We need our cards to be very efficient. Now I'm looking for my mantra. What do you got? Those are unfortunate discards. Okay. Okay. Ow. Should probably just play this miracle too, yeah? Okay, make a debuff next turn. So Collector doesn't attack next turn. That means it's a very good moment to Simmering Fury. We just go Protect Flurry here. Simmering Fury. I'm gonna overdraw a little bit here. That'll be just fine. So no room for that to return to my hand, huh? It's just 32, it means the explosive potion won't make the difference. It's a bit of a bummer. here and we just conclude here. I'm not going to get weakened, so our attacks will do full damage with Divinity here. Which is many damage. GG. Glad we rested. We did pretty much have to take that initial uh, attack to the face for the uh, fight to go well. You might think that Conjure Blade or Devaform would be nice with Ice Cream. In practice, they're just going to slow this deck down a little bit more. A deck that's already a little bit... ...awkward. Plus, there's always a chance we get a free Devaform from the Enchiridion anyway. So I'm going to skip all of these. Uh, and I'll take one of these, but which one will it be? Hmm. Sozu Toy Ornithopter and Pretty Sad Potions. Pretty hard. Being forced to take hits to operate makes a slow deck. That's that's pretty much right, Grow Roar. And if you add further slow cards, you'll make the problem even worse. And end up dying. This would be a pretty difficult busted crown take. I'm a little afraid of Philo Stone going into heart, quite frankly. We've got ways to block heart, but we also absolutely have ways to die to heart with this deck. So that's scary. Both Crown and Sozu, all three of these are scary. I'm going to take one of them, though, because we do need the energy. I think it's got to be Stone, but hopefully I don't regret this. See. Weird shop placements. Hm. All right. 
free establishment. Nothing else to do this fight, right? Potentially use potions for healing. There's nothing else to do here. Prostrate Plus will help a ton. Like a ton, a ton. And I will fight these two. If this goes badly, then... Oops. That's my response. Oops. Oops if it goes bad. More than happy to use a potion here if necessary. Okay, so I can use this to go back into calm. Let's use this now, then. So I can play Protector, Simmering Fury. Looks like it's going to be Simmer, uh, Protect, actually. Secret weapon. Feels wildly unnecessary. Less so now. Draw four. Cloak Clasp gives us block based on the number of cards in our hand at the end of turn. I think is quite helpful. We're offered yet another just lucky here. I've only got one. I'll take another one. And I'm going to this shop for a card remove. Or a preserved insect. Or actually a fasting is like kind of good now that I have two copies of just lucky and four energy. And two prostrates. Fasting's really good. So is Frozen Eye, actually. Letting me see the draw pile in order. So are these potions. Pretty good. Hmm. Insect will definitely make what comes next a lot easier. Probably gonna fight four elites this act. So less health on the elites would be pretty handy. Helps with the shield and spear as well. That's the easy pick. I'll be sufficiently convinced. I don't have the brain power for a hard run right now. Apparently. Oh, I could use Cloak and Clasp, safe energy there. Those are good. This is 28, 39 damage. I think I just secret weapon for a wall up then. Bring everything 
to. Or actually, can you, like, let's do this. That'll kill next turn, then. With the big damage. Also, Divinity. Divinity Conclude deals 48 damage to all enemies. Apparently. Makes my life a bit easier. So does a dupe bot. Thirty-nine gold for the red mask. Finally, a deal worth taking. That's free one week to all enemies at the start of combat. That could help a little bit, especially with the Philo Stone. Terrifying, really. I am not willing to eruption here. There's really no gain anyway. Don't kill me. Thank you. Well. Shouldn't be so preemptive. Give me another way to scry. Those ain't it. Those are nice cards, but they don't help me right now in blocking this attack. That does. Have divinity right now. If I draw the prostrate, I would love that. There it is. Pocket watch. Pocket watch um, with ice cream is going to be super helpful. And we don't have a good way to weaken right now, so let's grab a wave of the hand so that we can also apply mass weak to enemies. I think we're starting to get where we need to go, Twitch chat. there. Really would have liked to be able to take Gremlin Horn, but I'm very grateful we haven't yet fought a Reptomancer. That's been nice. Don't think I can trust Simmering Fury here. Let's just trust Pocket Watch. Yeah, that's why we don't trust Simmering Fury. Well, actually... Stuck in wrath if I do this? Might be. No, uh, yes, actually, because I haven't gotten devotion down. Hmm. Don't know that I trust this. Can't do 136, can I? This is only 30, this is 32. No, we can't do enough damage. Okay. 
Excellent. Well, kind of excellent. Nice. Vault. Or a meditate. I'm taking a vault. Shame it's not a vault plus, suddenly. Go here, then here, then here. Heck, warp tongs. Just give me the vault upgrade. And the wall up upgrade. And now we fight the Reptomancer. Now and only now do we face her terrifying power. Can a uh, vault or conclude? I guess I'll just vault to draw the conclude. Seems good. Well, I don't know what I was afraid of Reptomancer for. It was very, very, very easy. Devotion turn one, you'd love to see it. Should have actually pocket watched here. Thankfully, no problem. Draw me a million cards. Feels like the second prostrate is what we needed to accelerate this deck into Silly Town. It's been so much cleaner since we got that. I guess a couple removals probably helped too. Talk to the hand will also help immensely with our heart problem. Give me that. Inner piece is decent too. Let me talk to the hand. We can upgrade that talk to the hands. Yeah, with our heart problem, we got a congenital heart issue. There's something. Establishment versus time meter? I'd love to see it. Give me the uh, windmill strike, turn one. Let's do it. Play three cards, although I'm only drawing one more extra actual card for real. It's fine. Probably going to end up a vault turn. Dang it. These are not the cards I wanted to draw in this moment. So if you vault is the 12th card, then time meter. Does not get to attack you.
Hey, we got it. Nice. Easy. Time Eater's having a bad day. I should have played this too. I'm drawing 10 here. Wrath here and stay that way. I think that might be a bad idea. Be a bad idea. I'm not gonna be able to kill next turn. I just don't think so. Crap, I fear no evil. Shoot. It's a big number. Lose to the second boss because of that nonsense. I'm very pissed. It's just the bird, though. Since when are birds hard? They're not. I can play the miracle anyway. Simmering Fury could be a recipe for disaster, or it could be awesome. Only one way to find out. Duke pot to get out of this situation, though. Definitely go wave of the hand, prostrate. Let's see what the situation's at. 24 plus 9. Double just lucky is more. It's the same block as double carviati, right? I get 6, I get 6, yeah. So currently I'm able to block for an additional 12. So we get a 16 plus 11. I said I can get six more, bringing us to 33. Incoming damage. 33. Oh, uh, and cloak class. Okay, we do live, we do live. Okay. I have to do pot just lucky. I really don't like that. Don't 
Indeed, fear no evil, huh? Do want the vault, though. Wish I could play the devotion. I really can't, though. It's currently 33 incoming damage. We're blocking for 16 plus 22. It's 38. We got also five health from the potion. Okay, so I can I can end the turn here, or I can play devotion. No, because that'll raise the awakened one's attack by too much this turn. Not yet. Not yet. but I don't want it. Problem with pocket watch here. Gotta say, this has been a really close battle overall. A uh, really close run overall in a lot of different ways. Actually, I like those together. And kill in three. Okay, perfect. Do that. In turn, draw a ton of cards and enter divinity. Now we can play all the powers here. Secret weapon finds what? Crush joints? Sure. 45 damage incoming. Looks like a bit of an obstacle, huh? gonna die. Hmm. I kind of need to draw the other protect, huh? Shoot. What's in the power pot? Can't tell you until we resolve this cut through fate. Debating whether we use the eruption as draw two, but then I'm stuck in wrath, right? So we discard both. Get the third eye. Okay, that's not gonna be enough. We weaken this thing to like 30 something. Actually, no, we can live this, right? Okay. 
So I have to use the power potion to stay alive. Yes. Yikes, that was uh, a little close. Don't like that I had to use both potions there. But I do like that we're alive, for now. This is a really skin of our teeth watcher run. Super duper resting here. Resting to gain a vault? Easy. I could buy one potion or two. Definitely buying stance potion. Oh, which means I can't afford a removal. Alright. Stance potion it is. Ha! Remember when I said we might get a free Devaform anyway? Guess what? It happened. Devaform Devotion Vault. Excellent turn one. You certainly love to see it. Now the goal is to get the other vault in our hand, and then we basically win. Secret weapon for the draw card first. We already used Cut Through Faiths. All right, let's just go double just lucky then. That prostrate is enough to go divine. Unfortunately, it can't simply let the pocket watch draw for us. I'll lose that too, but I might regret it here. Maybe you wanted to put damage there? I'm deeply unclear. Incoming damage is 38, currently blocking 32. I'd like to keep this protect around though, for next turn. It's only four-ish damage. We did get Vault, amazing. I think I just Vault then. We lose the Prostrate, but I go Divine next turn anyway. We keep Smite, Protect, Windmill, Strike. I can Miracle Vault. Excuse me, that's better. Miracle Vault. Perfect. Just perfect. I'm going to kill the Spire Shield, because I can full block this. No relics to set up. Okay, we only took four damage, and we got a potion, so I'd say that was an exceedingly good fight. You know, I might take a third prostrate here, even more divinity access. Let's do it. Upgraded. All right, for the heart, we've got excellent potions. We got a mental fortress as our free power. We drew talk to the hand on turn one. These are good things, Twitch chat. These are very good things.
probably want a pocket watch for next turn. I could Simmering Fury here. I think that's... Uh, with the potion, that's not even necessarily a bad idea. Simmering Fury would make me draw 9, and then I can Gambler's Brew next turn. Let's do that. We can always Stance Potion out of Wrath if we get caught. 138 damage. No biggie, right? Might just gamble everything here. Like, literally gamble 10 cards. Trying to find one of the vaults. Trying to get our devotion down. Yeah, we need devotion down fast. Not even going to play rush down. Secret weapon for wallop here. I like that. Cool. Or we can simply vault. That sure is what I'd like to do right now. Especially as the third card of the turn. Draw eight more here with Pocket Watch. Pocket Watch, so good. So, so good. All right, and this is the turn we'll use the Stance Potion to exit Wrath, because otherwise this is a very bad situation for us. Next turn we get to Vault again. Perfect. Playing more cards? The answer is yes. Let's get as much block as we can in here. Discard the Flurry, keep the Ascender's Bane. I want this to exhaust when I vault. So I take a mere five there. Unfortunately, the heart's multi-attacks are super powerful. I think this is just Slime Vault. Pocket Watch Divinity next turn. If I prostrate a divinity instantly, we don't want that. Milo Stone sure is scary. Oof, that's not a great draw. That said, the rule of thumb usually is if you can survive the first cycle with Watcher, you're, you're in there for the rest of it. We're Divine again next turn, so let's just try to Pocket Watch again. Thankfully the heart is permanently weakened, at least. Miracle is such a pain in my butt. All right, let's make sure we draw everything. That was scary there. 7 by 15? No, 3 by 15. First. 
then Rostrate, then Sanctity. I'll play some other stuff. That doesn't like no damage. We haven't retained it at all, apparently. I think I just scried it away the first time. Back to Divinity Land. Easy. As long as I Simmering Fury, I get a full draw next turn. Let's just do that. Let's bring this thing below 200 right now, so I can kill it next turn. It does require all of my might. That's fine. The order of operations next turn. Simmering Fury draws his cards and enters Wrath. Then we enter Divinity from the Devotion. So this will give us two Mental Fortress activations as well. We get eight block here. In addition to being in Divinity now. Seems good, right? Don't get a kill here, alas. But we do a ton of damage. The Windmill is here. I don't need this next turn. I might. I'm going to keep it in my hand, just in case I do, actually. Wow, talk about a close call, Twitch chat. GG. Hey there. If you enjoyed that video, watch this one next. And before you go, join us on Twitch and watch live. I'm there five days a week playing Slay the Spire, answering questions, and chilling with the community. Click the link in the description to follow right now. Ta-ta for now.